Now that I've set some durations, I want to change my time scale so that I can see some of the tasks with shorter lengths than one day. Because right now, my Gantt chart is quite small, and I really can't see the effect of some of the tasks that I may have that are of a smaller duration. I've reopened my original project so that you can start from scratch if you'd like to follow along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a wider view of the tasks so that I can change some of the durations and see if I can accomplish one or more tasks during a day. I do that by going up to my format menu and selecting the time scale option. Now project will take a look at three different tiers. It allows you to modify the middle and bottom tier only. Right now the middle tier, which is the one that we're looking at, shows my units in weeks. I'm going to decrease that to days so that I can now see a day-by-day -day breakdown of what I need to do when. The next tier that I want to take a look at is my bottom tier and I can go down to the hours but that's going to make it quite large. I'm going to have almost 24 hours of gradation on that particular grid that's going to be too much information so I think I'm going to go back up to days. Again you have lots of options in here so that whatever is going to work in order to be able to track your particular project you can make adjustments here so that you can get a nice granular tracking if that's required or you can have a larger viewpoint like we're going to take a look at. So I click on OK and now you'll see that my Gantt chart now looks at days. So as I start to build out my different durations and my different dependencies I'm now going to see a nice look and feel of how my project's going to fall out. I'll quickly take a look at and show you how it affects the size of the Gantt line within your chart. If you were to go to a particular task such as identifying the target audience and identify that that's going to only take five hours of time and if I include that in there you'll see how that decreases the line of the Gantt of that particular bar. So you can now tell that I could have perhaps one or two of these smaller steps occurring at the same time if they are less than one day in length. So again, to recap, to change your time scale, you'll go up to Format, you'll go to Time Scale, and you'll determine and modify the middle tier and bottom tier to get the viewpoint of the project that you want to work with. Next, we'll see how we can add repeating tasks to our project in order to track things such as project update meetings and other things that may happen frequently and at a scheduled time throughout your project.